can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. For round one, the speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Where your head? This dude can kick. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Another big head kick land. You have got to make some adjustments. Massive needed a body land. Another straight left. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Nice straight right hand. Found a home for that punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now he's got the single collar and the clinch. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Another huge kick is true. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. The kick is there to the body. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Back and forth we go. Three minutes to go here, round one. Oh, beautiful leaving the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Lands the low kick. What a beautiful jab landing there. Big head kick. Got the single collar tie. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, Superman punch. Shot to the body now blocked by Lee. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Get the beat up. He's being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. There's a kick. Nice leg kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. 
he gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Clipped him with the right hand there. 15 seconds. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Man. Round two is next. Nice work. Very impressed with the strike. Wow. You're changing up your strikes perfectly. Let's keep that going. Love what you're doing with the leg kicks. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing these training? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Just out of range with that right hand. Back and forth we go. Just out of range with that upper cut. What a kick. That one landed. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Under three to go round two. Distance management, one-on-one, another punch lands. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice jab there by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Another kick to the leg now lands. Beautiful work as usual on the feet by Lee. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Beautiful high kick there. And there's a takedown attempt. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't learn that overnight. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Nice loop and punch.
Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, big shot land. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Pop your jab out, Straight right, he misses. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. One minute. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Inside leg kick lands. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. Single collar tie now. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so easy to that. We're still right where we started. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, and that kick is blocked. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, add that to his highlight reel. The wheel kick is good. Leg kick is true. Oh, how about the switch kick there by Lee? Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just misses there with the left. Going to the knee strike now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Great job landing that body kick. Oh, and a cut just opened up on his forehead. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Oh, 
Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Back to the hook now. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expressions right. of his opponent. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lands a hook there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Checks the leg kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, nice, nice. 15 seconds. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another strike to the head land. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he Ready sees that he's got a wounded Ready. opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh! He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Now we're going. Missed on the right hand. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. He's throwing that jab, no good. He's got that single collar tie. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He is so good. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice kick. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. 
I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Now touches him with the left. Nasty body kick downstairs. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Two minutes to go. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big right hand there. Lands a good series of kicks here. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, so it's been a big narrative in the fight. The bruising on that thigh is now officially getting worse. He better make an adjustment and soon. He's got to do something. He's got to change something. He's got to change the way that this fight is playing out. He's got to check and return. That's what I look forward to this guy doing. He's got to check a kick, return with a punch. Make him pay for throwing the strike over and over again. Straight right hand, no good. One minute to go in the round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Beautiful jab lands. Strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Nice sneaky head kick. Great punch. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Trying to kick the leg out. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big oh, man. Yeah. What a round. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Now a kick to the body. Nice punch there by Lee. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Nice punch by Lee. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, big head kick. Ill intent. That left hook was crazy. 
Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, big knees! Misses with the right hand. Landing a good series of strikes here. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, heavy kick to the body. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Another one. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. He's gotta find a way to finish this fight. He's cut. Give me elbow. Oh, good elbow there. Kick to the body by Lee. Clean with that offer. Guess to the single collar tie now. Well, I'm not sure if that is crimson or purple, whatever the shade. Another bruising calf kick lands flush. I can't believe he came in here this unprepared to address this attack, and now he's paying for it. Oh, stiff jab in the face there. Now doubles up on it. Nice jab. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of them. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, and he connects with yet another hook. Nice job on the feet by Lee. Very fast jab lands. Nice, nice. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, my goodness. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his three hands. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice combination. Yeah. Oh, nice body shot. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. 30 seconds. Let's go. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. So the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee!
mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your...